the president has led tributes to the RTE sports broadcaster Jimmy McGee, who has died at the age of 82. In a career spanning more than 50 years, he reported and commentated on 12 World Cups and 11 Olympic Games. Claire McNamara looks back on the life and times of the broadcaster who became known as Memory Man. Different class. Different class! Simple and powerful. Jimmy McGee's description of Maradona's magic against England at the 86 World Cup. The little man, the captain, and it's 1-0, and all the protests have fallen on deaf ears. It's the most famous of his commentaries from a career spanning over half a century. But there were many, many more. From athletics... And for the 13th time, an Irish medal goes to John Tracy. ...to boxing. Katie Taylor is the champion of the Olympic Games. Fabulous Katie. Through World Cup finals and Olympic Games since the 1960s, the Louth man was happiest behind the microphone. George, can you relive that goal that decided the European Cup final for us? Uh, well, I, I think Born I in New York in 1935, he grew up on the Cooley Peninsula. He wrote many letters to Radio Aaron before starting work with the station in the GPO in 1956. Just say you didn't know it in the mid-90s, he worked for UTV fulfilling a lifelong ambition to commentate on All-Ireland Finals. The following year he was at the Atlanta Olympics and would later draw criticism for his continued support of swimmer Michelle Smith following her four-year ban in 1998 for tampering with the drug sample. He ventured out of the commentary box too. His encyclopedic knowledge of sport earned him the title The Memory Man. He loved a quiz. And if I'm not mistaken, Roger Poncelet was the jockey on that one. There was the glamour of the Superstars programme. And there was the Jimmy McGee All-Stars, a coming together of his showbiz and sports friends to raise money for charity. For almost six decades, Jimmy McGee was there to call so many major sporting moments a broadcasting legend in a class of his own. The late Jimmy McGee.